Hi, um, my name is Nusha Gailey, and I'm the co-founder and president of Biobot Analytics. At Biobot, we're building a global human health database, the first of its kind, by analyzing sewage. This is based on a simple system called wastewater epidemiology. Everybody pees every day. And we know that urine contains a rich source of information on our health and well-being. Our doctors look at it all the time. And every day, we're flushing this data down the toilet, where it's aggregating in public sewers. At Biobot, we're building technology to extract and analyze this information. And it's a much more elegant process than this. Our work is based on research that was developed here at MIT and led by my co-founder, Mariana Matus, and I. And this is how it works. We start by mapping the wastewater network in a city. This is Cambridge, Massachusetts. We layer land use data and census data over top of the network map in order to understand if we're collecting a sample from a given manhole, exactly what the upstream catchment is and what the demographics of that neighborhood are. We then deploy our hardware units in these manholes where they hang just above water level, pumping sewage through a series of cartridges. The devices are then removed and the cartridges are shipped back to our labs, where we measure the concentration of viruses, bacteria, and small molecules that are all excreted in urine. Now the applications are endless. We can begin to look at infectious disease outbreaks and monitor that all the way through to understanding the consumption of pharmaceutical products. So in order to start, we had to pick a very specific and targeted application. And we decided to focus on the biggest public health emergency in the United States today, the opioid epidemic. While this crisis continues, the best data that we have today is counting overdoses. This data is extremely delayed, reactive, and it represents less than 1% of people who suffer from opioid use disorder. We provide cities with neighborhood level data on drug use and treatment that's updated every single month. We measure about 30 different drugs that range from heroin, illicit opioids like heroin and fentanyl, to prescription opioids like codeine and tramadol, as well as substitution therapies like methadone and suboxone. This overall city view helps city officials understand where to deploy interventions. We can tell them what priority drugs are so that they know what types of interventions to, to deploy. And our trend data helps them evaluate whether those interventions are actually working. Our first customer in North Carolina was able to decrease overdoses by 40% by leveraging our data in only six months. How? We told them that prescription opioids were what was most commonly used, and therefore they focused all their resources and interventions on that. In just a little over a year, we have grown from being deployed in that one city to now being launched across eight with 100% retention. And with that, we're one step closer to achieving our mission, which is to transform wastewater infrastructure around the world into a public health observatory. This is our team at Biobot, and if you'd like to connect with us, please come find me afterwards. Thank you.